check backup arrangements. An adequate backup arrangement is essential to provide continuity in the event of failure or malfunction of the main ECTIS. There are two ways to realize such a backup in practice. The first is a second independent IMO compliant ECTIS. It must be guaranteed that a safe and seamless transfer of the navigation from one station to the other is possible. The other option is to carry a full folio of paper charts covering the area of the intended voyage. Those charts must be maintained and updated in the usual manner. You should check which backup arrangements are present on your ship in order to plan backups of important data. Data synchronization. Within the network configuration, collections required for operation of different workstations are synchronized by software facilities. The following will be identical on all workstations. Charts, maps and manual correction, routes, alert management. Chart collection synchronization. The chart collection is installed with the aid of the Navi Planner application on one workstation. It is then synchronized with the other workstation automatically. In case of a network breakdown, each station will operate in standalone mode, meaning all chart handling operations, installation of licenses, charts, updates, etc., must be performed on each workstation individually. Maps Synchronization The collection of maps are synchronized automatically as they are handled on all the workstations, installed, edited, and deleted. In case of a network breakdown, operations on the maps should be performed on each workstation separately. Route Synchronization Routes are synchronized on all workstations throughout the network. This includes routes saved on ECTIS in the network, routes created in the Navi Planner, and routes which are supplied to the ECTIS from external devices and connected to one workstation. If the network is not functioning, only the workstation which is directly connected to the external route source device will retain the capability to receive the routes. Data Tool Utility Click the Transis Integrator from the Actus task and select Data Tool. The Data Tool Utility window allows the following operations. To copy or move the ECTUS data into an external carrier and the other way round. To delete data from the ECTUS program. To view and print out archive data. Exporting data. To copy data into an external carrier, select the file which should be copied from the internal list. In the external group, specify the external device where the copied data should be stored. Click the copy button in the utility main menu. The file name and information about the file will be displayed in the right hand window. Importing data. To copy data from an external device, select the required file group from the internal list. 
in the external group, specify the external device or folder with files to be copied. In the right-hand window, select the file and click the Copy button. The file name and information about the file will be displayed in the left-hand window. The copying is complete. Converting Data File To convert the System Log Data File, select Track from the Features list. In the Internal list, select the Logbook to Text File group and click the file which should be converted. Click the Convert button in the Utility main menu. The Logbook Converter window will open up. Click the check boxes in Filters group to display the required groups of events. In the Time group, set the time interval for converting the log data. Click OK to confirm the settings. The converted file will be added to the general file list with the same name plus extension dot text. The converting process is complete. Converting track files to text files. In the Features list, select the Track feature. In the Internal list, select Track to Text file group. Select the file to be converted. Click the Convert button in the Utility main menu. The converted file will be added to the general list of files with the same name plus extension Dot text. Select this file and click the View button to view the content of the file. Converting root file to text files. In the Features list, select the Root feature. In the Internal list, select the Root to Text file group. Select the file to be converted and click the Convert button in the Utility main menu. The converted file will be added to the general list of files with the same name plus extension .cvt. Printing via Data Tool Utility in the internal or external group of the data tool utility, select the file which requires printing. Some files can be viewed using the view button in the main menu, which will open up the file contents. Click the print toolbar button to print the file. System Log Printout Open Logbook Panel from the Tasks List menu and select System Log. To print out the Electronic System Logbook, click the Print button in the Settings group. Use the From and To input boxes to set the time interval for the printout of the Electronic System Logbook events. Then click the Print button. graphic screen copy. An instant recording of the screen graphic display is achieved using the Control plus 
P hotkey combination. The screen graphic copies are stored in the screenshot feature in the data tool utility of the Transus integrator. The file can be exported for subsequent use with the aid of the data tool utility. System Log The System Log is a file where both navigational and system events are automatically recorded. This is the mandatory electronic system logbook for an ECTIS, according to the IMO requirements. To access the System Log, click on the Tasks List menu, select Logbook, and switch to System Log page. It should be noted that it is not possible to change any given data. However, the operator can manually add data to the following fields. Water temperature, remarks, wave direction, wave height, air temperature, pressure, visibility, and engine RPM with the use of a password. Voice comments can also be added, provided that a microphone is connected to the network, by keeping the Event button pressed. The system log file is created every 24 hours, with the change of date by UTC time. Select the required date from the Settings group. The current date is set as default. To change the content of the system log, click the Fields button and uncheck the checkboxes of any unnecessary event parameters. To display other groups of events, click the Filter button and check the checkboxes of the necessary parameter groups. To set the total covered distance to zero, click the Reset Distance button. Pass Track Own ship track parameters are recorded automatically by the system. A track displayed in real time is created from the file data for the selected date and contains the following elements. Track color. The set color will be used for the display of track segment created after the color has been assigned via the track color function. The color of the segment is determined prior to the voyage and remains unchanged. Track plot interval is the distance of the track points from each other. The track may be displayed with a plot interval of 0, 10 seconds, or 1 minute at the user's choice. Time label to display time labels according to the user's settings. Displayed track length the ship's track will be displayed with time tags corresponding to the events entered in the ship logbook in the specified period of time. A period from 1 hour to 24 hours can be set via the Own Ship Track function. If zero is set, the display of the track and time tags will be stopped. The Show Primary Track radio button is activated by default. Show Time Labels and Show Secondary Track or Position can also be activated or deactivated depending on the operator's need.
to display the entire own ship track for the selected date, click the Focus on Track button on the chart panel. System Archive The archived system parameters are saved on the computer hard disk and can be available for viewing through Ectis Task, Playback or Data Tool Utilities, which were mentioned earlier in this module. The data is saved locally on each workstation and is not synchronized. The hard drive memory size for the storage of the system archive is suitable for a minimum of three months as per the IMO requirement. If it is necessary to increase the storage period, it can be changed by a service engineer. To prevent overfilling of the hard disk, the system has a capability to set the archive data storage time in days, allowing old data to be deleted and new information to be recorded in its place.